Fresno Pacific University is celebrating its 75th anniversary. During a weekend gala event, it honored its past while looking forward to the future. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson joins us with how the university is expanding its outreach. Juanita. Well, 75 years makes Fresno Pacific a relatively young institution, but it has gone through a huge transformation during that time. One thing that hasn't changed is its commitment to service. It was a night to celebrate the past along with the future of a university whose foundation is built on the idea of service. If you actually come with a purpose and a mission you know, in terms of uh, to serve, then you think you know, in terms of, uh, we're not looking in terms of for our convenience, we're looking in terms of how do we actually serve, uh, uh, serve the population. And the population that Fresno Pacific University now serves has changed drastically since its first beginnings in 1944 as a Bible Institute located on Van Ness Avenue south of Bullet. So it was founded by Mennonite Brethren churches on the West Coast and very much understood as a school for that group of people. By 1960, the campus had moved to what is now its current location in Southeast Fresno. First as a junior college, but by the mid-60s, Fresno Pacific was accredited as a four-year liberal arts university. You realize just what a transformation it has gone through from you know, these very sort of humble beginnings to a much more expansive, uh, diverse institution, diverse in the programs it offers, diverse in the students that it teaches, diverse in the faculty who do that teaching. Fresno Pacific has expanded with campuses located throughout the Central Valley from Bakersfield to Merced. It is ranked by U.S. News and World Report as being one of the best universities in the West by Money Magazine as one of the best values and has a nationwide ranking as the 11th best university for transfer students. This is the place that folks can come and where you can have faculty and staff who are going to gather around you and say, our success is your success. President Joseph Jones says despite FPU's ranking as being a great bargain, too many students look at it as a private institution that is unattainable. I never thought that I was going to come here just because of the idea that it's um, expensive. It might be only affordable for the rich. 20-year-old Marvin Santos grew up a few miles from the university he never thought he would attend. A scholarship made it possible for him to go. 98% of students attending FPU receive scholarships and other financial aid. I think it's great that FPU is doing that because um, it's giving opportunities to minorities that before they never thought, like, going to college. Joe says Fresno Pacific is a small university with a big reach that's committed to service, that commitment to service instilled in its students. That it's not just about another job. You say we want them to actually get good jobs. We want uh, you know, there, there to be more economic uh, prosperity, uh, but we want them to be, th be thinking about uh, not just their own well-being, but the well-being of families and the well-being of communities. Now, Dr. Jones says the goal is to keep the graduates here in the valley. And as Fresno State becomes more impacted, having to turn away thousands of students every year, the two universities are working together to show students that FPU is a great alternative. What a, and that's a, a good plan. And I think for people who maybe like a smaller, smaller campus, smaller class sizes, it probably is a good option for them. Yeah. And they do a lot for the students to try to help them be able to afford that cost. All right, Juanita, very good. Thanks for joining us.